So I got a fully cured finish here. It's been at least a week and uh, I've color sanded it. Um, a couple different things I've done. I've done 1200 and I've done 2000 in some areas to see, you know, on this light color, it's not going to make much difference. If I go to 1200 or 2000, um, as long as I spend the time and polish it, it just takes a little more work to polish 1200 than it does to polish 2000. So it's up to you whether you want to spend the extra time and do the extra work. Um, a couple of quick things I wanted to tell you guys that I've been learning from, you know, you learn from other guys that are in the business and trade and stuff. And I'm not really in the trade. I just do this stuff for fun anymore. It's not, I, I don't need to make man hours. But if you are in the trade, please listen to this too, because there's a couple of things, some really good things I'm going to tell you guys that are in the business, do it all the time. Um, so I've tried 3M, of course, and I've pretty much am done with 3M. Um, I've tried Minzerna, which is great stuff. Um, and I'll probably use Minzerna still, but uh, I'm going to tell you guys about the difference in a fully cured finish um, between even Minzerna. So I tried, a couple guys were saying, you know, use the 400, it cuts a little faster than the 1000. I got the 1000, I started out using this one, and um, I really don't see. I mean, maybe 2% difference, maybe at the most, between using the 4,000 and the 1, 400 and the 1,000. So if you guys are interested that are using Minzerna, want to know that difference, that's what I'm finding. Um, I do everything with the lamb's wool. A lot of guys go, oh, I don't use those anymore. I use lamb's wool first because it cuts a lot faster. You can get uh, heavier scratches out. I mean, you guys are going, maybe I, I can't get a 1,200 uh grit scratch out well maybe that's why because you're not using a lamb's wool so um we're gonna talk about this pad here in a second um but you guys who are using or body shop guys um who are using 3m first of all you guys need to get schooled on this because i'm going to tell you if i was in a body shop and i was doing this every day i would not be using 3m polish at all because it just it, you're wasting man hours your helper you're burning him up you could just totally grab this product right here if i was doing if i was doing this a profession every day i would not be using even Minzerna. i would use only this one right here now why would i at home want to use Minzerna? well it's a lot less expensive because this stuff here is about 50 bucks for one of these okay and you get one of these that's all you need you don't need any other polish you don't need like you know a swirl mark remover you don't need anything um, all you need is this stuff right here and two pads so you're gonna have to use a lamb's wool for the first part and then switch over to using your finish foam and they have a finer finish foam but you know this finish is a hundred percent acceptable for any kind of car pretty much that I've ever seen um, I've seen custom show cars done with just that pad right there and they turn out perfect really nice so um and the thing that's cool about this is it okay so you say okay well i could use this heavier compound it'll cut faster than this no it doesn't i've tried hand in hand i've tried this product next to this one it's almost 25 percent faster so it's right around there it's like 25 so if you were doing this as a business you spend the extra 50 you spend an extra 25 bucks as a as a shop and you can save you know two man hours a day i mean you've already made your money back and then some buying this if you're if you're a shop so um i would if i would steer you guys that have shot that are in a shop or working at a shop or you're uh you know you've got two extra man hours a day because you've saved doing using this product then it's worth it it's totally worth it but for a guy at home he may not playing around maybe he's not really counting his man hours he's just trying to look at you know i'd like to get it done i want to spend a lot of money you know it's still not a bad deal the csi is definitely super fast um but the Minzerna also works really well but it's this is about 25 percent faster than Minzerna. it's about twice as fast as 3m so 
I mean, literally twice as fast as 3M. Minzerna, I would say, is about 25% faster than 3M. So you get the 25% faster than that with, with this product. Now you've gone up to, you know, a nice finish. Now, here's the car I'm buffing right now. You can see, see, I would do a demo, but I you really can't see what, you know, I can see a little bit. I can see different things in the camera. A lot of this stuff is just um, white marks. So, you know, because there's just a hair residue. Um, I can do a beautiful job buffing. I know how to do it. I, I hate doing it. Um, and those of you guys who are, you know, going, hey, man, I don't know if this guy really knows what he's saying. You know, well, all I can say is spend 50 bucks and then tell me whether I know what I'm saying. Then you'll know. I'm saying is right um, but you know I'm playing around this is with the 400 the 400 tends to leave a lot more residue but I'm going to tell you guys what that are using Manzerna real quick so that's my plug for um, guys who are body shops you can tune out now or you can listen to the rest if you want but if you're a DIY guy and you're using Manzerna you're going to continue to use Manzerna um, and you're wondering what the difference between the 400 and the 1000 is. Uh, I can say that you could almost use the 1000 as a complete finish. You could do it with the 1000 and be done. And it's maybe 2% difference than the 400. I don't really notice the 400 cutting any faster than the other stuff. Now, I've got videos out on wetting the surface down stuff like that that was mainly for fresh un you know uncured finishes um this is actually drew carriage um the four to one clear and it really needs a solid three days or more it loves to be more dry so some paints like if you're using tamco which is definitely as good as glasserite okay it's definitely as good um if you're using tamco you want to buff that one a little earlier you don't want to wait weeks really to buff that product because it starts to get really hard but it's still polishable you can still polish it it's just going to take you maybe a little more time and if you're trying to do something where you're doing spot repair and you want to buff it like the next day you need a product like that because this stuff really doesn't work well for that but it does work well for your diy completes and stuff like that you, you want to do something um and and you can get a beautiful finish with it if you saw the mustang that i did you'll see that you know it can come out really amazing so um and i used the drew carriage clear on that so but if you're you know somewhere especially um it may not be legal in some areas of the country um, you need to check with Tamco and find out what they have that is and I'm not sure that those products are quite as good as the ones that I've seen that aren't so just a little heads up on that if you're, but if you're polishing different paints you're going to have different time serve time periods when you want to do your uh, buffing and I'm going to show you guys a couple little more ticks, tips and tricks real quick um, that you may not know okay just for a heads up real quick uh, if you're using sanding film, like you're using the cheaper brands like this Orion stuff, or, um, you know, this uh, Orion sanding film, this is 240 but, you know, I got the stuff so cheap I didn't really care. Or you're using hand sanding. Um, I'm going to tell you guys that 3M paper uh, makes, like, for instance, I'm going to give you an example. One of the guys was buffing the, the he was polishing the T-Bird that you saw in the video. Really nice T-Bird, all candy, you know, four coats of clear, all Tamco stuff, really bitching job. Okay, uh, he was using Orion 2000 paper for part of the car. Then he went to 1500 3M. The 1500 3M, because it's a more refined paper, it actually buffed out faster and better 
than the 2000 Orion, just so you know that. So when you get the cheap paper, sometimes you're, you know, giving back money. Uh, if you're doing custom work or whatever, you might be able to just sand it with 1500 with, uh, by hand. This is not with the DA. Okay. Guys like me, I got to use a DA. My shoulders aren't going to work for doing, uh, I, I can't, I can't hand sand. Not very much. You know, if I hand sand a whole car like this, I'll be out for a couple days because my, um, uh, I have a locked up shoulder. So anyway, but, and I've been getting stuff for that. People go, oh, great surgery. And it's not, no, no, I already talked to them that there's no surgery, no option right now because for that particular problem, it, they don't have really a surgery that fixes it. So they do for joint issues, but not for that. So anyway, some of you guys who are doing, got to do it by DA, or maybe you just don't want to do it by hand. Um, maybe you want to save some, you know, some time. There's some different reasons why you use DA, um, sanding. Uh, this is what you need to find out about right here. This is, uh, they have this product here, um, Aberlon, and this is by Merca. And they also have a really good one. Saya makes really good sanding. It's Saya Karat is theirs is a really good one, but it's super expensive and it's diamond, uh, paper. And what this is, is this is flexible, uh, flexible sanding. So for instance, I, when I was buffing this thing, there was really no dirt hardly in the fenders. There really was, the nibs were really, really minor, really small. If you have nibs, you're gonna to need to hand sand those out um, to get them really, really flat if you don't want them to show up. So, versus me going and flat sanding it with the DA, having to worry about chasers and all that stuff, um, I just used a 1000, one like this, the Aberlon, which you can't read it, that's why I used, I got a brand new piece. And, uh, went over it with 1000 then went over it again with 2000 and this does not leave chasers um, I have not been able to see one yet that I've done use this paper on so if you're one of if you're going hey man DA stuff you get chasers here's how to avoid that this stuff right here now you can use it with a double foam back which is that inch foam or you can use it just by itself and I've used it by itself and not got chasers with that so if you guys are trying to do that stuff and you're wondering little tricks like that here's a couple of them uh and uh, uh as far as polishers go um i got this dewalt polisher and it saves a lot more time than even the harbor freight one it's a buck 50 on amazon so 150 bucks you're going to save a lot of time might be worth if you're going to do more than one car it's worth buying one of those so anyway just a couple of little tricks and things that i'm trying to throw in here so that you guys can try these things and learn how to do a little bit nicer a little bit faster and uh because i've seen guys you know and for god's sakes if you have a good one of these buffers you really don't need a orbital buffer um that's you know if you're if you're using this product right here you're not going to have swirlers in there it's not going to happen if you're using this stuff with four forty five hundred Pretty much you're going to be in the no, no swirler zone. I mean, it's not going to be. So this 1000 is your first thing. Real quick, let me show you the other one. I got a brand new jug here of 4500. So if you use this 4500 product after with your foam pad, after doing it with either 1000 or 4000, you're going to have no swirl marks. You're not going to use the glazing. You're not going to use any of that stuff. The glazing, as soon as you wash the car a few times, it's gone. And then all your stuff starts showing up again. So that's pretty much a waste of time and money. Um, some guys are using the, the old McGuire stuff. And, you know, I have nothing against them. But it's, you know, it's almost, to me, kind of a, a homeowner type, you know, polish versus this stuff is real professional grade. Um so I think these are way better than that. I've I've used all the all the stuff from McGuire's and I don't you know it's not bad. It's good, but I don't know. I don't find it to be any better than these. So anyway, uh, you know my system is I use a DA flat sand everything with a DA to get knocked down all the nibs. Then I'll go through with the Aberlon, go over with two thousand on this thing. I'm cutting a corner. I'm not using the Aberlon. Uh, to sand out the sanding scratches from the DA yet I might switch over because it is taking a little bit longer to polish it I'm going right over 1200 off the DA and um, 
with either the 400 or the cream x i can get it out i can get them down to with no sand scratches or swirlers in it at least in this color like this was if this was dark green like the other car i did with black i would definitely go to the 2000 um and you know and like i said this car is not going to be show car or anything like that so i'm not going for that um this is kind of a those are your shortcuts if you're not doing show then you might be able to do some of this stuff if you're going full show then you're gonna have to go i'd go to four thousand that's what i would do so anyway all right so there's a couple little tips tips and tricks for you guys trying to polish and i'll talk to you guys in the next video